A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. The reason we require that a is not equal to zero is because if a were equal to zero, we'd have f of x is equal to bx plus c, which is called a linear function. So by making sure that a is not zero, we make sure there's really an x squared term, which is the hallmark of a quadratic function. Please pause the video for a moment and decide which of these equations represent quadratic functions. The first function can definitely be written in the form g of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In fact, it's already written in that form where a is negative 5, b is 10, and c is 3. The second equation is also a quadratic function because we can think of it as f of x equals 1 times x squared plus 0 times x plus 0. So it is in the right form where a is 1, b is 0, and c is 0. It's perfectly fine for the coefficient of x and the constant term to be 0 for a quadratic function. We just need the coefficient of x squared to be non-zero so that the x squared term is preserved. The third equation is not a quadratic function. It's a linear function because there's no x squared term. The fourth function might not look like a quadratic function, but if we rewrite it by expanding out the x minus 3 squared, let's see what happens. We get y equals 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 3 plus 4. So that's 2 times x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 plus 4. Continuing, I get 2x squared minus 12x's plus 18 plus 4. In other words, y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 22. So in fact, our function can be written in the right form, and it is a quadratic function. A function that is already written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is said to be in standard form. So our first example, g of x, is in standard form. A function that's written in the format of the last function, that is, in the form of y equals a times x minus h squared plus k for some numbers a, h, and k, that's said to be in vertex form. I'll talk more about standard form and vertex form in another video. In this video, we identified some quadratic functions and talked about the difference between standard form and vertex form.